learning objectives after completing this digital module learners will be able to understand the features of the perfectly competitive market learn about the total revenue and the total revenue curve as how it is positively sloped learn about the average and marginal revenue of the firms learn about the conditions of the profit maximization in respect with long run average cost learn about the short run and long run supply curves of the firm understand the shutdown point normal profit and break even point of the firm learn about the opportunity cost of the firm learn about the determinants in relation with the supply curve of the firm learn about market supply curve and how the market supply is measured learn about the price elasticity of supply and its calculation through graphical representation firms perfect competition and revenue curves perfect competition of the firm salient features the perfect competitive market has two salient features first the market has same type of goods to be sold to buyers and the second is every buyer and seller in the market has the role of price taker when a firm sells its products at the price more than the market price the buyer switch their purchases to other firms as the goods are available in the market price or lesser from the other sellers this creates the condition of price taking from seller's perspective total revenue curve of the firm the total revenue of the firm is calculated when it sells its every good at the market price when the output is zero the revenue is also null after that it progresses by the result of the product of its output and the unit market price of that good thus the total revenue curve is upward rising straight line it is seen that the total revenue at a point on the curve divided by the specific output shows the market price average and marginal revenue curves and the price line the average revenue depicts the proportion of total revenue and the unit output on the other hand the total revenue is the product of the output and the market price thus we can get that the average revenue is same as market price on the other side for a price taking firm the marginal revenue also gets equal with the prevalent market price the price line is the horizontal line with the x axis of the graph which shows that a firm can sell as many as goods in the price equivalent with market profit maximization conditions of profit maximization the profit can be derived by subtracting the total production cost from total revenue of the firm after selling its goods in a positive output level where the output is maximum three conditions ensures the profit maximization of the firm first the marginal cost should be equal with the market price second the marginal cost cannot be decreased at the optimum output level and third in the short run the output level the market price should be greater than or equal with average variable cost and in the long run price is to be greater than the average cost condition 1 marginal cost being equal with market price it has been seen that the profit maximization firm will not produce any output both the time when the market price will be greater than the mc and the when the marginal cost of the firm will be more than the market price conditions 2 and 3 marginal costs and market price second condition says that marginal cost curve cannot set downward at the level of profit maximization point as long as every output level lays further of primary output where it first touches with market price and then it starts declining the primary output level thus cannot be profit maximization point here third condition says that in short the market price must be greater than or equal to the average variable cost in positive output of the firm and in the long run too price must be greater than or equal to the average cost 
profit maximization a graphical interpretation we can show that in distinct marketplace the output level of the profit maximization firm will be equal to the area where the upward rising smc meets the price at the firm's respective output level and the short run average cost will be aligned with the output parallel to the price line supply curve of a firm short run supply curve of the firm in short run firm chooses two points of its output production where price is greater than or minimum being equal to the average variable cost when price is less than the avc the firm stops production here we can get the short run supply curve of the firm which is the rising part of the short run marginal curve as risen from the point avc touches market price as being equal each other long run supply curve of the firm when price is greater than the lrac the firm stops to product more in the meeting point with market price firm's output will be long run being equal with its profit maximization equilibrium like the short run in the long run also the supply curve can be seen by the same curve of marginal curve which is rising from the price equilibrium point and where the lrac also touches the market price shutdown normal profit and break even point and opportunity cost after the smc curve cuts down the avc curve at the minimum level of the average cost any further output cannot be possible this is called shutdown point similarly in the long run the maximum point of lrac curve is a shutdown point the profit level that a firm earns which is sufficient to meet the costs and the opportunity costs of the firm is called its normal profit when in the minimum point of lrac or sac on the supply curve where the firm with positive output earns the normal profit then the point is called the break even point when the firm invests an amount as fixed cost and variable cost to start production the opportunity cost lies in the assumed advantage of any alternative investment of that amount if the firm would not invest in the production determinants of the supply curve of a firm definition of determinants or factors of the firm's supply curve as we know the marginal cost curve becomes the supply curve of the firm there are several factors which impact the firm's marginal cost curve these are the determinants of the firm's supply curve technological progress and input prices the technological progress will allow the firm to use fewer inputs at the time of phase of production this sort of innovation in the organization level leads to shift the mc to the right and consequently being the supply curve it ensure the increase in output in the respective market price it eventually causes to fall in price as well if the increase in unit price like wage input price of the labor increases the marginal cost increases it happens the supply curve to shift leftward and shrink in the output level in the specific market price unit of tax is imposed on the production if government imposes the tax on the firm's production for every unit of the output then the long run marginal and average cost will be increased we can see that by every unit of payment of the taxes the lrac and lrmc will be shifted leftward we know that the supply curve is the extension of the marginal curve and also know that the initiation of the supply curve is the initiation of the average curve at its minimum when p1 was the price the q1 meets the equilibrium which intersects the demand line we can see that if the price reduces to p3 quantity also reduces to q2 but it cannot be the equilibrium with demand curve after imposing of the taxes when prices increases to p2 the quantity is q2 then where it makes new equilibrium thus after imposing taxes the supply curve shifts to left
market supply curve and price elasticity of supply market supply curve and its measurement the aggregate of the supplies of the firms in the market in a specific market price is called the market supply curve in that price level the market supply curve increases when the total number of firms increases as well then we can see that the curve shifts right when the total supply rises and the inverse happens when the curve shifts towards left one firm starts to produce its positive output in the market price which may be different from other firm which due to different cost structure starts its output in another market price the total supply curve of them will be a horizontal summation and will be projected in right side price elasticity of supply the price elasticity is measured by the fraction where the percentage change in the supplied quantity is divided by the percentage change in price of the product price elasticity of supply or pes is denoted with the variable es the q0 is the quantity of good as supplied to the market say 50 when its price is p0 that is 8 but due to some reason when the price changes as p1 that is 11 the quantity supplied is changed to q1 that is 75 now the price elasticity of supply or es will be percentage change in quantity supplied as divided by percentage change in price the geometric method to measure the price elasticity if we plot the supply curve in the graph quadrants we can see the below mentioned situations of the price elasticity in figure a The supply curve cuts the price axis at its positive range but the quantity axis at its negative range. T is a point on the supply curve. Thus, NQ0 is greater than OQ0 that is price elasticity at any point on this supply curve will be greater than 1. In figure B, the supply curve goes from point O where the point N coincides. T is a point on the supply curve thus NQ0 is equal to OQ0 or OQ0 is equal to OQ0 that is price elasticity at any point on this supply curve will be equal to 1 in figure C the supply curve cuts the price axis at its negative range but the quantity axis at its positive range T is a point on the supply curve thus NQ0 is less than OQ0 that is price elasticity at any point on this supply curve will be less than 1 summary let us summarize what we have learned in a perfectly competitive market the productive firms are price takers the total revenue of a firm is the market price of the good multiplied by the firm's output of the good For a price taking firm market price becomes equal with its average revenue for a price taking firm marginal revenue is equal to market price the demand curve that a firm faces in a perfectly competitive market is perfectly elastic it is a horizontal straight line at the market price the profit of a firm is the difference between total revenue earned and total cost incurred If there is a positive level of output at which a firm's profit is maximized in the long run three conditions must hold at the output level 1 the market price will be equal with the respective marginal cost 2 the marginal cost will be non decreasing 3 the price will be exceeding than the average cost The short run supply curve of a firm is the rising part of the SMC curve from an above minimum average variable cost together with zero output for all prices less than the minimum average cost curve. The long run supply curve of a firm is the rising part of the long run marginal cost curve from an above minimum long run average cost curve. together with zero output for all prices less than the minimum long run average cost curve technological progress becomes responsible to shift the supply curve of a firm to the right 
an increase or decrease in input prices becomes instrumental to shift the supply curve of a firm to the left or right. The imposition of a unit tax shifts the supply curve of a firm to the left. We can obtain the market supply curve by the horizontal summation of the supply curves of individual firms. The price elasticity of supply of a good is the percentage change in quantity supplied due to 1% change in the market price of the good.